Hi, I'm George, the Weather Dad, and take a look at your next seven days, and that takes us right on into Thanksgiving. Now, of course, uh, there's going to be a big travel weekend this weekend, and for the most part, it's going to be okay, but not for every one of us. But temperature-wise, it's going to feel a little bit like winter over the next couple of days and on into the week of Thanksgiving. First, let's take a look at your Friday, and we do see temperatures, well, they're going to be about normal, so it's not too bad across here in the, in the Ohio Valley, Great Lakes. Normal high temperatures now in the lower 50s for afternoon highs and down into the lower to middle 30s, so it's going to be very chilly now as the normal high temperatures continue to drop. You can see again near normal, but still slightly below. This is on our Friday throughout most of the country, even down along the Gulf Coast. You're getting a nice reprieve from all that heat. Here on Saturday, temperatures don't change much. They start modifying just a little bit here in the central U.S. Look at another shot of some very cold air parked up in Canada, up in the high plains, and that will be drifting southward. Here on Sunday, you're seeing it drifting now into the Rockies, but eventually it's going to move in our direction here in the Ohio Valley. We do see a nice little warm-up in this part of the country, Oklahoma, Texas, and on into Missouri and that will be working its way into the Midwest here on our Monday. You kind of see that, but you're also now starting to see this penetration of some very cold Arctic air streaming right down out of the Canada. Here on Tuesday, it kind of pushes its way through. You kind of see temperatures again dropping below normal. Still not too bad across the Gulf Coast, but that I think is going to change too as we head on closer to your Thanksgiving. Here on Wednesday, the frontal boundary itself that's bringing in that cold air will settle across the Tennessee Valley. So below that, it's not going to be too bad. It's not going to be really oppressive heat, but it's not going to be too bad there for you. But very cold up here in the High Plains. And then on Thanksgiving itself, you kind of see, again, temperatures pretty much below normal across the northern half of the country, even stretching down now into the state of Texas, Florida. You're going to be a little bit on the warm side here on Thanksgiving. But notice, though, the cold air, the warm air, this is the battle zone, and your precipitation maps will show that here nicely. All right. Here on our Friday, we still have some lake effect snows across the Great Lakes and even some snow moving its way up into New England. Most of the country is going to be fairly dry, but a massive storm approaching the West Coast. You're going to absolutely get slammed there on Friday. It starts breaking apart a little bit, but we are going to be looking at some mountain snows there for you. Most of the country, again, drying out. Some more lake effect snows as you head uh, up into the Great Lakes and up into New England. You're going to see some snow up there as well. Here on your Sunday, not a bad travel day. This weekend overall in this part of the country won't be too bad if you are going to be traveling the weekend before Thanksgiving. But we do have energy sitting out into the Rockies and another one batch up in Canada. And they will get together here on Monday. You kind of see that there in the Great Lakes region. There will be some snow along with it, but I think temperatures are going to be warming up ahead of it, where most of it's going to be in uh, precipitation will be in the liquid form. California, you're just getting pounded once again. And here on Tuesday, you kind of see that system moving off towards the east, but we have another bit of energy sliding down. And between this batch of energy and that batch of energy, look what happens here on Wednesday. It pushes across the Ohio Valley. Most of this, I think, will be in the form of liquid. I don't see any problems at this point as far as any real snow issues are concerned with the exception of the Rockies but if you're going to be driving here on Wednesday this is the Wednesday before Thanksgiving you're going to have to be careful in this area because of certainly some wet pavements and then here on Thanksgiving itself you do see the frontal boundary setting up in this area now the problem becomes, and as we're still a week away, you got a lot of cold air sitting right here. You got warm air here, a lot of moisture. This is the battle zone. So if this moves a little bit further north, we could be looking at some snow for the Ohio Valley on Thanksgiving. Still too early to say, but once again, travel conditions on Thanksgiving itself could be a little tricky, and you kind of see a pretty mess as you head into the mid-Atlantic region up into New England. So that is your extended forecast for Thanksgiving. A lot could change now between now and then, so of course, stay tuned. I'm George, the Weather Dad.